Hey guys, welcome back to the Third Floor Arcade. This is Jason, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Arcade 1-Up Cabinet. Now, I just received this uh, cabinet a few hours ago. I quickly put it together, and, um, and my first impression on this is that this thing is pretty awesome. Um, this cabinet is currently going for $3.99 on the Walmart website, uh, free shipping. Um, this version does not come with the stool or the light up deck protector like the uh, the other version coming out this summer uh, comes with um, But however, this thing does come with uh, some pretty nice features You got the uh, custom riser there it says 40th anniversary on the side It's got the uh, the wood grain front panel look which is pretty cool um, It comes with seven games. You got the pac-man pac-man plus Pack and Pal, Pack Mania, Super Pac Man, Pac Land, and Galaga, which is a nice uh, addition to this cabinet. Now the side panels of this, I think, are very sweet. It's got the uh, the, the retro look there. It's got the uh, wood grain side panels. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, the uh, control deck looks very similar to the Wave One uh, Pac Man Arcade One Up cabinet. Um, except you, on the right there, you got additional buttons for uh, pack land. And um, of course, you got the light up marquee, which looks pretty sweet in my opinion. So let's take a look at some gameplay. All right, guys, so here we have the uh, main menu screen. Um, as you can see, this is definitely a huge upgrade over uh, the previous Pac Man machine. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot more colorful. I think the monitor is upgraded. Um, you got all these cool graphics on there, which is nice. Um, and it lists the, uh, the seven games on here. You got Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, pac and Hell, Pac-Mania, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Land, and Galaga. Um, aside from the uh, main menu screen, I noticed the, uh, the joystick on here is definitely 100% better than the uh, previous Pac-Man machine. Um, I had the, uh, the Wave 1 Pac-Man, and I wasn't a fan of that joystick at all. But uh, this one is a huge improvement, um, and I think it will be perfect for playing Pac-Man. Um, let's jump into some of these games here. Um, everybody knows Pac-Man, so let's take a look at this real quick. Now, uh, Pac-Man is the number one selling arcade in arcade history. Um, and I think the second uh, highest seller was Space Invaders of all time. Now, uh, my high score in this, I'm not the greatest of Pac-Man. I think my high score of all time is like 39,000. I know there's people that uh, memorize the patterns of the ghosts and all that. I never got around to doing that. But uh, it's definitely a fun game. And uh, as you can see, this uh, joystick is handling this pretty good. Ah. Now let's talk about this. Go over to the second game. Now the second game on here is, uh, is uh, Pac-Man Plus. And this game was uh, featured on the Wave 1 Pac-Man. Pretty much the same game, except it's uh, a little bit faster and there's uh, different power-ups. I think my high score on, uh, on the last one was, uh, in this game was like, it was like 18,000. This game's a lot harder than the, um, uh, uh, let's jump over, let's check out the third game on here. Uh, next game is, uh, Pack and Pal. I actually never played this game before. Let's check it out. Uh, 
So it looks like you gotta unlock these, uh, get to grab these keys to unlock these rooms. Oh. Yeah, this game I'm not too familiar with. There we go, let's, let's check out the uh, fourth game on here. Fourth game on here is uh, Super Pac-Man. Now, I do remember playing this back in the arcades uh, way back in the day. Super Pac-Man, there we go. Definitely a fun game, very similar to uh, just the normal Pac-Man. More, uh, more options. And... A little bit harder than the original Pac-Man. Oop, just got it. All right, so let's move over to the next game, which is uh, Pac-Land. Now, Pac-Land, I remember... Uh, Never played this in the arcade, but I had this game for uh, TurboGrafx-16, actually. And uh, this game, you do not use the joystick. You use uh, these buttons on the side here for movement and the Indian jump. Let's check this out. I'll probably suck pretty bad at this game. I haven't played this in like 20 years. <laughs> Definitely a fun game, kind of breaks it up a little bit, a little bit different from the other pack games. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Now oh, wait, I think I missed a game on here. Um, is it Pack Mania? Let's check out Pack Mania. Where is that one? This game I actually never played before either. This is kind of like a 3D version of uh, Pac-Man. Yeah, here we go. I've seen this before, but never played it. Not a bad game, it was pretty fun. Ah, got caught. Alright, so there's one game left, and that's uh, it's an all-timer, and that's uh, Galaga, one of the all-time greats. Let's check this out, see how it is on this machine. Now I have the, um, the Galaga Galaxian machine um, as well. Go 
fall feels pretty good. I think my high in this uh, this game is like a hundred and sixty thousand, something like that. I love having Galaga on this side machine though. It's definitely nice to have. Ah. You shot my ship. It's been a while since I played this game. All right, so let's back out of here. And there we have it. There's uh, that's all seven games. Um, now my overall impression of this, um, I definitely recommend this. Um, now I used to have the older uh, Generation One Pac-Man arcade one up. I got rid of that um, in favor of this one. Um, I definitely recommend doing something like that if you're able to. Um, I think this is a huge upgrade over the uh, previous pack man. and uh, you got all these extra games you got the light up marquee and uh you got that the side panels which look awesome um definitely happy i bought this all right guys thanks for checking out the third floor arcade this is jason please like and subscribe i have a ton more videos coming talk to you guys soon bye